A young entrepreneur from Rosaltong, Miss Marissa Foster, launched a branch of her M Art makeup store last Friday. Narima Ali reports. Hi, my name is Marissa Victoria Foster. I'm currently a final year student at the University of Ghana, and I've, re I've decided to start my own business, which is MR. And today I am launching my first ever store location in Rose Hall Town. We are a small makeup company. We retail makeup products from different brands, both high-end and drugstore makeup, and we cater for not only persons in Burbies, but we also deliver makeup products to Regions 3, 4, 5, across Region 6, and in Region 10. On Friday, November 20, 2020, young entrepreneur Marissa Foster officially launched her makeup store branch in East Burbies. As a young woman who has always been fascinated by creating art, she explained what inspired her to start her business, and she further went on to share how her business has grown from then to now. So my inspiration for starting this business is my passions for the arts. I have always been a big fan of fine arts. I have also been a theater arts student um, when I attended the New Amsterdam Multilateral School. And from then, in 2017, I started MART. And from then to now, we have grown into what you know as this small business that retails makeup products. We also um, provide face painting and we also do face beats as well for clients for special occasions. In everything that we do, we encounter some amount of challenges and setbacks. For Marissa, it was no different since she too had to overcome many bumps along her journey. Uh, some challenges that I've encountered would be that because I'm young, a lot of people, they underlook me um, because they said that I couldn't take this seriously and I couldn't take on so many responsibilities, especially being a student um, and balancing life and its troubles. But I have proven them wrong and here I am today with my very own business and store. The COVID-19 pandemic has been the greatest test of all, but even when she thought about giving up, she persevered through it all. So when the pandemic first started in March, I was a bit worried about where my business would have ended up. But how I, how I overcame that, it was I put my mind to what I was doing. I made sure that I remembered... Um, I made sure that I reminded myself every day of the reasons as to why I first started my business and that is because of my true passion for makeup and for young creatives out there to help them and their passion as well. And so I kept that in mind during March and until September I, then I decided I'm like it is time to expand and grow um, even if there's a pandemic that's not going to stop me. As a young female who is involved in so many other things, Marissa explained that her days are well planned out to ensure that she executes all of her tasks on time. Before I go to bed every night, I make sure that I schedule my day. My days are um, run by routines and schedules, so I make sure that I'm organized. Um, you cannot meet me or see me without being a part of my schedule. And I also have a very strong work ethic that I follow. Um, I'm very committed to the things I do and I do not stop until I get it done properly. So um, to be short, I try my best to balance stuff and I learn when to say no. She went on to say that she is grateful to all of her major supporters who have continued to encourage and empower her to do great things. Without my support system, I would not have been here. I would like to thank my friends, my family, and most of all, my customers and my clients for helping me get this far. Without their help and support, I wouldn't have been here. M Art, also called Mart, has a lot planned for its valued customers this Christmas season. For Christmas, we plan on giving back to our customers and we'll be having a big giveaway, so you can tune into that. But to enter the giveaway, you must have purchased something previously from M Art. So for my business, I aim to be a mini Sephora. 
of Guyana. I plan on opening more locations. I plan on expanding my delivery services across the country. Um, for my other, for the other aspects of my life, I plan on expanding my writing. Hopefully, one day I can write my own poetry book and publish that as a young Guyanese writer. And I also hope to expand my field in journalism. I will also graduate the University of Ghana next year with my bachelor's degree and afterwards I plan on pursuing a master's degree in social work. To young persons who have similar goals, Ms. Foster left these words of encouragement. My advice to those girls would be to never give up, to push through, have a strong business plan and also test the waters before entering the field of business because it can it takes a lot of commitment and if you do not have a strong support system behind you if you do not have the resources at, uh, at hand it can be quite challenging so my biggest advice is to keep pushing forward and be sure that this is something you're ready to commit to. Mart is located in Port Morant through the JC Chandy Singh Secondary School Street the second building on the right at Annex Salon. They are open on Mondays to Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.